Hi there, welcome to my channel. I have some very big news and it has to do with the visitor at my campsite right behind me. I've played this game for 8 months now and this villager has been on my dreamy list since he was first announced before New Horizons was even released. So after countless villager hunts, I've never encountered him and I'm excited to say that Raymond the cat is at my campsite. So before we go in, this video is going to cover an important trick that I've went over in another video that I uploaded about a month or so ago and that's how to get the campsite visitor to choose another villager if you don't want the villager that they suggested to move away. There's been some debate in my other videos comments with majority of the viewers saying it works and then there's the occasional Debbie Downer that calls BS on it so pushing all of those bad vibes away this video is to show off Raymond as well as show that the trick on how to get the visitor to choose someone else actually does work. But first things first we have to talk to the villager and go through the whole process of getting them to move onto your island. And most of the time it requires some sort of card game and then there are those random times where they just want to move in on a whim. So with that said, I've edited this video to cut it down to around 10 minutes, but this whole entire process, meaning losing card games, as well as getting Raymond to actually choose the villager that I want, which is Mira the Rabbit, much love to Mira, but I think it's time for her to move away and time for us to move on. But in real time, it took about an hour to get Raymond to choose the villager that I wanted. And let's go through that whole process right now. So I'll speed up a lot of the parts where the visitor just wants to chat and initially before we start doing the trick which is pretty much close out the game before you agree or disagree to the villager that they want to move out the first set of card games will be random items as prizes i've learned that when the game is restarted after doing the trick the campsite visitor tends to stop with the items as prizes and then they start with the ultimatum that they'll move in if you win the card game in addition there's also the chance of them just asking to move in and that just happens very randomly so if you get lucky they'll just do that without all of the little extra things of playing a card game so I'm just going to speed up all of Raymond's little chit chat here and he actually goes on for maybe three or four minutes of just talking about random stuff and then a card game here and there for clothing but after a while he starts the dialogue of complimenting your island and then the thoughts of how awesome it would be to live there and this time it didn't require a card game it just took a whole lot of patience but with having no space on my island being at 10 villagers 11 including myself he gives you the bad news prompt and then it changes to him asking one of your villagers to move out so here's the first suggestion and it's gonna be cookie the dog so i actually promised cookie to someone so i'm gonna have to say no and this is the important part of the trick so after this little dialogue you're gonna have a little option of saying yes or no so you do not want to advance past the yes or no or whatever the words are the positive and negative word at this point of the dialogue so for me it's go for it or hold on but do not advance past that part just go to your home screen close out the game and then just restart it and start the whole process over again so i mentioned earlier in this video that after you try it the first time the visitor should move on from the items and clothing as prizes and the card game mainly focuses on whether or not they'll move in so i'm going to show that little part of me running to my campsite one time just to show that it's really far away from my house so from this point on i'm going to cut that part out and i'll just jump straight into the tent with raymond so the main point now is to see if we can get Raymond to move in again and see if it changes from Cookie to another villager. And from the looks of this dialogue, he just asked straight away without having to play a card game or anything of that sort. So he's going to go straight to resident services. And then bad news because my island's full. So let's see if he changes his mind from Cookie to somebody else. This dialogue is always going to be the same, but this time he's going to choose Marina. So right there. This just proves that the method or trick still works, and I'm not going to give up Marina, she's an untouchable on my island. But to one-up myself, I said in the beginning of this video that I wanted Mira to move out, and the process took about an hour total in real time. So with that, let's keep on doing this trick where you close out the game before you make that choice, open it up again, and then see what happens. So let's see how many times, or how many different villagers Raymond actually suggests before he gets Mira to move out. This is obviously a voiceover, and I know when he's going to choose Mira, but this is solely to show that he's going to pick a different villager each time. He may suggest the same villager from time to time, but fortunately for me, during this test, he doesn't do a repeat and ask the same villager two times in a row. Unfortunately, that may happen to other players, and this time he actually asked Dom, and I can't have Dom move out. Anyway, back to what I was saying. 
They may ask the same villager a few times in a row, and the last time I tried to do this, the campsite villager asked for Diana to move like five times in a row before suggesting someone else. So this trick is going to require a lot of patience, a whole lot of patience. And that's pretty much my main disclaimer regarding this method. So as the video progresses, I'll just advance it to the point to where Raymond chooses the next villager to move out, just to show that it's going to be a different name each time for me on this run. And this time it's Diana, and Diana's another untouchable on my island. I pretty much have like eight untouchables and only two can move out at this point. Ten villagers just isn't enough. I wish we could have more on our islands, but I can't complain because we can only have like what? eight on new leaf so uh, some progress is better than no progress i guess but we're gonna move on to the next villager that raymond wants to suggest and i think this is the set that actually took like 20 minutes for me to get through because i kept losing card games but this time it's pico so that's actually a different villager four times in a row now so we went from cookie to marina to dom to diana to pico so that's actually really good signs hopefully he just cycles through my whole entire island and eventually gets to mira the rabbit so for those wondering why i want mira to move out oh it's cookie again so cookie twice but back to mira for those wondering why mira it's not that i don't like her and the funny thing is she's the campsite villager from the original how to get the campsite visitor to choose another villager video i only wanted her on my island because I was told that she has an awesome themed house and she does but I'm over it so please hurry up Raymond and choose someone else <laughs> so let's see who it is this time Audie no 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 I just got Audie and she was tied with Raymond for the villagers that I most wanted in New Horizons so I'm gonna speed up these next suggestions and he wants Marina again so two for Marina two for Cookie the next villager he wants is Molly so it's pretty cool that he's not asking for two in a row so it's been different each time he has some repeats but never in a row for me Cookie three so Cookie is the main victim today for who Raymond wants to leave this island and with that it looks like Pico is next so that's two for Pico so our current tally, three for Cookie, three for Marina now, two for Pico, one for each of my villagers who aren't Octavian, Sherb, or Mira. And we want Mira's name to be chosen. Here's Octavian. So it's down to Mira and Sherb that Raymond hasn't chosen yet. And since I know the future, I'm going to say no for Octavian. And the next one is going to be for Mira. So here is the end of the video. Let's see how this whole thing unfolds. He's going to talk a whole bunch, but I think it's going to end with a card game. So with that, I've gotten every variation of getting Raymond to move in. I've had the card games, I've won some of those games, and lost many. And the moments where he just asked to move in without any sort of game or prompt. And timing-wise, it's about 5.35pm and the video started at 4.39pm. So nearly an hour of playing and well over a dozen tries of restarting the game and opening it again just to run to the campsite tent to convince Raymond to move in while selecting the villager that we want to leave and there was Mira's name I couldn't click it any faster finally this was like the longest hour of my life trying to get him choose Mira so I'm happy that it's finally over and I'm just glad to show and share with everybody that this technique or trick still works I just did it a dozen times and pretty much got a different villager name with each try ultimately it got to the name that I wanted to move out and now I have Raymond moving in and Mira departing my island so once again with this trick it it takes a great deal of patience, especially if you have an island full of untouchables like myself. But if you play it out, it's worth it at the end so you can keep all of your favorites while gaining a new favorite villager. I'm just so happy that I have Raymond on my island now. And just like my villager hunt videos, here's my usual YouTube thumbnail picture attempt. Hopefully I can get a good picture of Raymond and myself for that thumbnail but with that thank you so much for checking out this video and I hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please feel free to check out these others they might interest you in some way and if you really liked hanging out with me today please consider subscribing to be the first to know when I upload something new with that said I'll see you all soon stay safe out there bye